Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love and General Reading. This is for the element of air. Uh, so if you're a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you uh, for the weekends of February, 20, uh, February 19th through the 21st, 2021. So I want to thank you guys for your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind these are general. So they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you're able to get some some clarity. Um, also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to uh, check the description box below for ways to reach me. If you want to reach me by phone, that's a separate process. So uh, you can request a call back at any time. Make sure you're registered at Bill Per Call. Uh, when you request the call back, if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. Also, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. Um, and also join me on Patreon. The Venus sign readings are there now, uh, as well as additional content that you might enjoy. So let's go ahead and, ahead and get started here. We have the central issue, heart of the matter is the two of swords. We have the emperor. We have the empress. We have the 10 of swords. The 10 of coins. The Eight of Coins, the Two of Cups, and the Hermit. Okay, so, okay, the energy here is that maybe there is some sort of blockage. It seems to be some sort of fighting going on. Um, I feel like two people also may not be talking to each other. Or someone isn't listening. Someone might be ignoring the other person. Um, I feel like um, someone is also saying no or trying to um, resist temptation. I feel that I feel that some someone is uh, being seduced or trying to be seduced. So I don't know who's playing the seducer, um, but I feel like someone is trying to be trying to seduce another person. More so like the female energy or the feminine energy. And then the masculine energy is kind of ignoring whatever the feminine energy is doing. Um, I also feel like someone maybe wants you to read their thoughts. Um, I feel like there is like silent communication going on. Or someone's silence is an answer or a response to something. But more so because there has not been a decision. Someone can't seem to make some sort of decision or some sort of clash. Mm. I do feel that in a romantic situation, you know, I, I always love when the emperor and the empress come out together um, because it makes me feel like uh, whoever your love interest is or your soulmate, if you're looking for someone like the person is around you, you're currently, you know, just in a, in a presence of this person. It's just that the emperor is usually behaving in a way that is very disciplined, very stoic, very quiet. Um, it's hard to read the emperor. You can't really get a reaction out the emperor. But the thing is, since there's some sort of a blockage, you know, I feel like the empress is in a sense behaving like the emperor. So it's like two people are both very quiet and observant at this time also can't seem to make some sort of decision um or come to a conclusion and also something needs to end in the way communication is going on the current form of co communication because i feel like it's not working um if you're having problems with uh, anyone, even co-workers or family, I feel like there is a need to 
let go of something like if you're holding on to some sort of thoughts or ideas it's like saying that you, you're needing to let something go mm. I feel like something is going to come to an end is like I said I feel like it's a way of communication that needs to stop it could be a relationship it could be anything if it's trust issues, whatever you're holding on to, it needs to stop. I feel too like maybe someone's going to take a break from social media. Mm. I don't know too if someone is saying things to provoke um, some sort of response. And I feel like if someone is not getting the response that they anticipated that they're just going to take a break or you know delete some things um, now I see a couple of things with your finances I feel like you are going to have abundance or security but I feel like maybe there's going to be some sort of loss first or it's, it takes money to make money type situation. You also might have just some sort of falling out with family, especially extended family, like in-laws or cousins, uncles, aunts. Mm, something also could be changing at your job. Like some sort of contract might be coming to an end. Um, you also may be unaware of some things that are happening behind the scenes at your company. Like maybe they sold the company. Um, maybe if, you, if, if it's the type of company where you buy shares, like maybe something's being sold. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like something's, there's some sort of changes going on behind the scenes at your company especially if you do work for like a larger company. Mm. You also may receive some sort of inheritance. You might receive a loan. Um, if you do lose your job, I feel like you're going to be compensated for it. So that's what this also looks like. It looks like if there is a job loss, like you get compensated for it. Um, or if you already lost your job and you've been waiting for workers comp, like I feel like you're going to get it. Um, you also could get some sort of a severance package or um, if you lose something, I feel like insurance is going to pay for it. So like I said, I feel like you're going to have some sort of abundance, but after some sort of initial loss or after some sort of... Um, no response. So let's say, for instance, you apply for two jobs. Um, one place is going to say no, but the other person, the other company is going to accept you. If you are in a process of shopping for property, uh, whether business property or residential, I feel like you're going to get declined for one thing. Like one bank might say no, but another bank is going to say yes. Uh, or they're like, no, you don't qualify for this, but you qualify for this type of loan. So it's like no, yes type situation. And then you're going to work with what is um, like what is being told yes to you. You're going to be able to work with that. Um, OK, so I'm saying something, too, about family, fair, family heirloom, family inheritance or something being um, running in the family. I, I see something in regards to a family tree and a legacy being carried out. So it may be meant for you to carry a family legacy. Maybe you are sitting around with family and you guys are talking about things, about your history. Um, someone also could be inheriting a family business. I see someone is also a designer or into fashion, and that may be because someone's um, 
great grandma or grandpa was in the fashion industry. Um, okay, so I'm getting Lagerf Lagerfield. Is that the designer's name? That's the designer's name I'm getting. I don't know if that makes sense for anyone. Um, I'm also getting something in regards to like banking. Um, maybe even like JP Morgan. I don't know what that is, you know, for you, but that's what I'm getting. Some of you may also feel like time is running out. I'm getting some sort of focus on a clock or time. <laughs> to get metaphysical, um, I see something about time traveling. So I don't know if some of you are doing some sort of research on time traveling or someone is telling stories and they're just like, well, you know, your great grandpa was a time traveler. Like something's going on where I feel like some sort of metaphysical discussion is being made. Um, I see too preparation for something. Definitely looks like you guys could be purchasing property or uh, extending your current home, like building on a room or redecorating a room. Um, it's also possible that maybe someone has a visitor or a baby on the way because it seems like it's going to be expanding in the home. Your finances also may be expanding. You may be spending a lot of money this weekend too, but if you do, I feel like it's because you have it to do so. Um, I also feel that if you have your own business, I feel like something's very quiet at first and then you start getting like a lot of orders for something, um, especially things that get packaged and shipped out. Something is handmade or homemade. If you've been wondering about what you can do for business, something is talking about making something homemade. And that, again, I'm seeing something dealing with needle and thread. But you also might start doing things like creating soaps. Maybe you're uh, purchasing some sort of tools. And that's another thing about spending money to make money. Um, to start for your startup. Like maybe you're having to buy like a lot of business supplies. And then you, you know, you make the product, you advertise it, and then you start to get orders. Um... But I feel like it's a good investment. So far, it looks like a good investment. Mm, something about a pattern may be of significance too, like clothing patterns. I don't know if you make or design a textile. Um, that also could be something that you want to go into is textiles, making patterns and designs. Um... Something definitely seems like it has your signature, very unique if you're thinking about going into business or maybe I'm picking up the energies of someone around you or the company that you work for. Um, now, relationship wise, if you and your partner fall out, I feel like you guys are gonna get back together but the foundation is gonna be stronger. Um, you and your partner may be discussing marriage, um, talking about things for long term. I feel like you guys are making some sort of arrangements and putting some sort of serious plans down on paper. Like you're really putting some serious intentions out into the universe. If someone has been looking at you from a distance and thinking about coming forward, I feel like this person has been putting some serious thought into approaching you because they're wanting something serious. They're like, if I come into your life, it's going to be for the long run. This is not, you know, something temporary. Um, I'm ready for something serious type energy. Um Your lo love interest may have tattoos, especially on the neck. Let me look some more at this guy. Um, I feel like this is someone who also would spoil you. Maybe someone has um, a nice 
healthy financial background. Um, you guys also might be discussing establishing a business together, especially like you if you share the same ideas. It seems like at first there was some sort of clash, but like now you guys are seeming like you're working together. Uh, I keep getting something about the tree of life. Maybe someone also studies Kabbalah. Um, I feel like you also need to prepare for some sort of a date. Somebody may be getting ready to take you out, show you a good time. Um, someone may have planned some sort of a private getaway together, especially maybe going to some sort of hotel. Um, I get that someone also runs some sort of uh, some sort of business, like a hotel business or an Airbnb, or someone may even have a hotel named after them, um, like Hilton. Um, in Chicago, there's a Drake Hotel. I feel like um, you're also discovering a lot of things about yourself by the people that you connect to, even if it's not romantic. Uh, there's someone that you're very close to that is opening your mind to astrology and um, a lot of different esoteric studies mm. and I see something about a foundation being established there's definitely some sort of strong roots uh, being established if talking about your family your family has some strong roots or strong features something something's very strong in your DNA or your bloodline Mm. I feel like you're also being enlightened. I feel too like you're going to find someone who maybe thinks like you. Spiritually. Connecting with someone on a metaphysical wavelength. Hmm. I feel like someone also, this is weird. I feel like someone directs porn or has directed porn, or if not like hardcore, hard, hard, hardcore, hardcore porn, then like uh, adult soft, like adult photo shoots and, um, or, you know, films. But I feel like something has to do with like adult film industry someone like is a director or they have that background or they've actually worked as an actor or an actress with that matter of fact if someone is worried about being judged about their past i feel like let it go just you know your past is your past Also, you might be seeing numbers of completion, like nine nines or ten tens over the weekend. And I also see 22. There is a need to get things back into moderation as well. If something has gotten too far, especially if you've gotten too far off of a diet or too far off of um, like a smoking habit. Maybe you thought you could just get away with taking a couple of puffs and you're trying to quit and maybe it went too far. But I feel like something I feel like you're going to get back in control of something um, now. 
if there has been control issues in a friendship, relationship, partnership, I feel like there is a need to let go of those control issues. It does look like there's going to be some sort of making up, hugging, kissing, and making up. You also might hear about somebody breaking up. If you lose a job, I feel like it gives you an idea to go ahead and start your own business. Okay, so I also see someone's been thinking about you a lot or you've been thinking about someone a lot but at some point it just becomes overwhelming and it's like okay now I just need to reach out someone's call might get dropped or someone's phone might be dead I feel like there's also help on the way for those of you that might be getting affected by the weather. And I am so sorry for those of you that are going through that. I told you guys I don't watch the news a lot, so I didn't know that things had gotten that bad. So, you know, my heart does go out to those of you that are suffering with that. I feel like help is on the way like it's either through government or through family. Like family is like, come stay with us. Somebody might maybe say you don't have to go through something alone. Like you are drawn to someone's wisdom or you're drawn to someone's light their insight I feel like that is something that you find very attractive this person is either a Virgo air sign another air sign Libra Gemini Aquarius uh, or a water sign cancer Scorpio Pisces Someone may be finding clever ways to get you to talk to them. Mm. I feel like you're being led to follow someone or you're you're um, being hypnotized by someone or you're falling under someone's spell. I feel like you're mesmerized by someone captivated I also see that you are going to be able to manifest your desires or you're attracting the things that you want to have in your life I almost want to say if you notice that a lot of insects or animals are drawn to you, it's something within that they, they detect. So the Ten of Coins, I feel like, is an opportunity manifesting for you guys. But it does come after some sort of initial loss. Um, I 
I feel like someone that ghosted you or you ghosted someone like you're going to hear from this person. Um, I also feel like you might hear from the person who you either blocked or deleted their messages. I feel like you're going to hear from that person. Hmm. Someone also was trying to keep their distance because I feel like they viewed you as temptation for whatever reason or taboo and for, they didn't want to get involved in a situation that was considered to be taboo. So whatever taboo is for you in your situation. All right, let me look at some energy cards. All right, additional messages for air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We have man holding a coin. The thinking woman, victory, overall energy, journey. All right, so I do feel that there is some sort of opportunity coming up for you where you do get to start new or um, something's being offered to you or maybe this is that opportunity for you to start that business journey. If you're starting your own business, um, in a love relationship, looks like someone is um, making an offer to you. They're asking to take you out. And it does look like someone caught your attention. And she's reading that book. She has her book in her hand. So someone is definitely uh, attracted to someone or finds value in the person that has some sort of knowledge or wisdom or, you know, intellect. Um feel like you're attracting like-minded individuals into your life. Even if it's not romantic, I feel like something's going on where you're attracting like-minded people. Maybe it's like-minded spiritual people, like-minded business people, but you're attracting them. And of course, I love seeing victory. So this is indicating that there is going to be some form of victory in your situation. If you have been feeling defeated, maybe with the Ten of Swords coming out earlier, you felt defeated, you felt like letting go or giving up. Um, I feel like it's good that that happened. Some sort of weight may have been lifted off of your shoulder. Um, and so now that you've let go of some sort of dead weight, you are going to come out victorious in your situation or it feels like um, victory because you've defeated something. Um, it also looks like there may be some sort of confidence that you're having. I feel like you are getting ready to take some sort of a risk, something that might be scary. I know something's been going on too where it's, it's like when you're ready to cross that bridge, you can. And I feel like something's going on where you are now ready to cross that bridge. You're not afraid of something anymore. Or maybe you've taken care of some sort of past issues and now you can start to move forward. I feel like whatever bridge that you are moving across or this new journey is secure or it's a path to security. Mm. And then I still see these as elements too. So you could be uh, led to either an earth sign or another air sign, or th these are the energies that are coming towards you. Mm. I also feel that by taking a high road, that also gets you some sort of victory or success. You may have some sort of foresight that other people don't have that 
puts you above the rest. And I feel like you're just overall going to get to relax this weekend. The only other thing, like I was saying, those of you that need help or if someone, anyone needs assistance, I'm looking at the luggage. If someone needs a place to stay, um, it's very possible that they're coming to stay with you, especially more so if you offered. Um, maybe you're offering, you know, if you need to stay here, come on, or if you know, you had to ask somebody, could you stay with them? I feel like maybe that's what you're getting to do. So I feel like shelter is available for those who need it. Um, something else I was picking up about this path. Some of you are about to go on some sort of mystical journey as well. I see two people linking up with different creative ideas or talents. So like a writer might be introduced to a director and a director goes and makes the writer's story come alive. Um, so I see something about two, the birth of two ideas coming together, um, business related too. Maybe someone heard your story and was moved by it. And they're like, can I turn your, your uh, story into a book? So if you don't know how to write, but this person does, like someone may want to turn your life into a story. And then at the end of the day, those of you that are doing absolutely nothing, then your mind is on an adventure. So you might have time to sit back. It feels more like reading energy than watching movies. Um, but you might be reading a lot of books or reading a particular story that... Um, is really taking you on some sort of a journey. All right, so those are the messages that I have for you guys. Hopefully something resonates. Uh, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.